Nowadays, you can basically call anything art. I don't care about the word art because it's been so discredited and so forth. But you, you, you in fact contributed to the discrediting, didn't you, quite yeah, deliberately? But deliberately, yes. So I, I really want to get rid of it. It's sort of an unnecessary adoration of art today, which I find unne unnecessary. It's all about how things are affecting me, slowly, slowly, gradually, and then it comes out of me. During my time in an art institute, as a student attending lectures and exhibitions, I often used to ask my teachers, what actually is art? And in their response, I would get 80 feel-good cliches like, art is about self-expression, it is about being original, not about beauty, and most commonly, everything is art, so on and so forth. None of these answers brought me any closer to a satisfactory understanding of the actual term. Students in art institutes, be that painters, sculptors, or architects, are discouraged from exploring works of classical mastery, emulating or discovering their techniques. Instead, they are encouraged to produce something original, a buzzword of the most present art universities. Artists displaying works as some cult of originality, with their splatter paint, stainless steel structures, and displaying strands of hair on napkins are basically lacking the background of any logic. None of these efforts seem to address the human condition, yet such works earn praise and awards for simulating visual arts, which serves no purpose. Furthermore, displaying pinnacles of garbage, butchered off cuts, vegetables, sellotaped to gallery walls, are all considered as fine art worthy of consumption in today's world. It all seems like a deliberate attempt towards harbinger of a vacuous degenerative postmodern landscape. originated in the 13th century from Latin ax, meaning ability or any learned skill, whether that be horse riding, poetry, painting, or hand weaving carpets and so on. Larry Schinner, a famous philosopher and writer of the history of art, craft, and design, advocates that before the 18th century, art and craft were bonded together and termed as 
artifice. In the Renaissance period, terms used in Latin to describe an architect, poet, sculptor, or be that a painter, were artista, artifice, or artificer. The great art historian Vasari used the word artisan to write about painters and sculptors. These terms meant to describe an individual who would perform chemical operations. Now we can understand that in the age of enlightenment, which was from the 17th to the 19th century, the sole meaning of art was science. It was not associated with personal nor a creative expression, as modernists term it. In the 1740s edition of French Academic Dictionary, artist was still defined as a person working in an art, one who performs chemical operations. French philosopher Charles Bouton grouped such disciplines like painting, sculpture, music, dance, and poetry together as fine arts. And so occurred a division in the traditional concept of art where the handcraft came second to painter and sculptor. The discipline was now known as fine arts. In the second half of the 18th century, the definition got refined and now fine art further got reduced to art in Winkelmann's book, The History of Art. M.C. Escher, a postmodern artist said, if I'm not mistaken, the word art and artist did not exist during the Renaissance and before. They were simply architects, sculptors, and painters practicing a trade. The artista or artisans who came before us set an example for generations to come. Whether that was in design, music, engineering, or building beautiful and grand monuments. From the earliest discoveries of Eastern hand period to Persian and Iranian hand-painted miniatures, calligraphic manuscripts, to Florentine artisan with their grand scale sculpture, murals, and architecture, or be that the marvelous Islamic architecture based on complex divine geometry. All point towards a definitive solution, which was to address the human condition, to flow the divine knowledge and enjoy the value contributed by intellect and skill. Alas, tradition which means to tie, to pass on the responsibility of knowledge, discipline and timeless wisdom has been deliberately eradicated from art universities as some form of campaign which serves no purpose or to cultivate the skill and ability. The traditions have been deliberately sabotaged. Thank mm -hmm. you.